The Stemma Click is a very fun place to be. It's a very high energy atmosphere uh, and, a, and a beautiful place. And uh, we, we treat everyday athletes and we treat high level athletes and we really enjoy taking care of all of those folks. It's, it's fun. Uh, it's a fun atmosphere. It's a fun place to live and work. I do mostly foot and ankle surgery. I also do some general trauma surgery, uh, taking care of broken bones. Uh, but I specialize mostly in foot and ankle surgery. Foot and ankle surgery is a, is a smaller field than a lot of the other parts of, of orthopedic surgery and sports medicine. Uh, when you look at the amount of injuries, there are less injuries to the foot and ankle, and there, there are, uh, uh, it's a very specific area. Uh, it's a very complex area. There are a lot of bones and joints and ligaments that, that are within the foot and ankle, and I wanted to specialize that in that and really uh, provide patients uh, new and unique ways to treat those injuries uh, and continue to push the envelope in terms of treatment. Yeah, it's a, it's a really neat time to meet other folks, being it physical therapists and other physicians who specialize in different areas. The Injury Prevention Symposium brings all those people together so that we can work with each other, we can chat, be it after a, a session in, in the back uh, or at lunch or, or, or ask questions of each other. So it's, a, it's really a time to get to talk to the physical therapist, talk to uh, the folks who organize the prevention programs and really share ideas. Because on a day-to-day -day basis, we don't cross paths all that often, and this is really a unique opportunity to do that. Today I spoke about ankle injury prevention, specifically lateral ankle sprains. There can be sprains of the outside of the ligament or, uh, excuse me, the outside of the ankle or the inside of the ankle. It's more common to have a lateral ankle sprain and it's actually the most common injury in all of sports. So it's very important that we do the best we can to prevent that. Uh, there are ways you can do that, be it with bracing and taping if someone's had a prior injury or uh, with specific warm-up exercises and strengthening the foot and ankle uh, to prevent an ankle sprain. But it's the most common sports injury, so it's important that we do what we can to prevent that. A very common injury, there are 23,000 ankle sprains a day in the United States. So uh, some of them need, need medical care, some of them do well uh, on their own, but we're always happy to see people and help them sort of figure out exactly what treatment they need. Most go on to heal, 90% of the time ankle sprains will heal with some conservative treatment, we call it sometimes. A brace, sometimes just some rest and ice, uh, and then a physical therapy program. Sometimes it's home, sometimes it's a formal physical therapy program. 90% of the time it heals on its own. About 10% of the time folks develop something called lateral ligament instability, which is chronic, and that really is a, can be problematic, can cause problems with the ankle in the long run, and difficulty with walking on uneven ground. And so those are folks that we really need to take care of and, and, and sometimes needs uh, a little bit more intervention. I do. So I work very closely with Dr. Clanton. We've uh, had, a, had a great working relationship over the years and, and a lot over the last six months. I, uh, he's a, he's a, a great mentor and, uh, and I really enjoy working with him. We operate on some very complex cases together, uh, so we do do that sometimes and certainly talk about patients uh, regularly and, and get each other's, other's opinion. I've uh, had the opportunity to train with some other folks who are very well known within foot and ankle surgery, so it's been fun to share the ideas that I've learned and, uh, uh, with him, and so we go back and forth quite a bit. Yeah, this is a very unique place. We can do uh, a lot of research here and we have the ability to do that, which is part of what drew me here. Uh, and it's a very, very unique place to do research. We have sort of our, our everyday athletes and then we have Olympic athletes and we can study those patients when we learn certain things from the Olympic athletes that we can transfer to our sort of weekend warriors and our, and our everyday folks and, and, and it flows the other way as well. So it's a very unique place to, uh, to do research and we really appreciate that about it. Yeah, I, I find the foot and ankle to be a very uh, important part of the body, not just because it's what I spend my days doing, but if you can't push off and you can't plant in a solid, uh, meaningful fashion, you can't walk around, first of all, but you certainly can't compete in sports at a, at a high level or get out and enjoy the mountains or, or whatever you like to do. Uh, so the foot and ankle is very important, and, uh, and we like to take care of it, first of all, and then treat the injuries in, uh, in a, a concise and expedient fashion, but also do the best we can to get people uh, back out there and, and be strong. Yeah, something when we talk about sort of care of the foot and ankle, it's important. Uh, we often talk about stretching of the plantar fascia uh, and also stretching of uh, the Achilles tendon. And so it's important to, to work on those things. Over our lives, they tend to get a little tighter. So your plantar fascia will tighten up, your Achilles tendon will get tighter. And so we do recommend uh, just for uh, for, for folks who want to participate in sports, uh, that they work on those things uh, daily to both work on both their plantar fascia and also their Achilles tendon. Spend a couple of minutes stretching. It'll prevent foot and ankle injuries in the long run.